Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 4 building basics video. So today I'm going to go over how to get into free build mode. Now I made a tutorial on this back in 2014 when the game first came out and it's still one of the most popular videos on my channel. So I thought I'd make an updated and abbreviated version. So as you know, when you're here in live mode with your sim and you know you want to work on your lot or whatever or build something, you know, it's going to cost you money uh, out of your household funds. So just like that. Now, if you want to build a lot um, in free build mode, uh, you're going to make sure that you're in live mode here. So with your sim. And then you're going to go here to manage worlds or press F5. And if you want to save your game, you can do that to maintain your progress. But essentially, this will bring you to the map view. So once it loads, here we are. So as you can see, here's the map view, and you can also change the worlds up here, so you can choose any of the worlds in the game, or even the destination worlds like Granite Falls or Selva Dorada. But we're going to stick with uh, Willow Creek for right now. And essentially, you can edit any lot here um, in free build mode once you are in um, Manage Worlds or Edit Worlds, whatever it's called. So here we can go to an empty lot, for example. If we click on that, uh, you get a little option here to build on it. So if we head into this lot here, you'll see um, what I mean. So I'll just make it a little bit brighter. And right here uh, where your household funds would normally be, you can see it says currently in free build mode and you have a little infinity symbol. So essentially we can just come in here and build whatever we want. And it shows you like how much this costs, but it's not charging any household. It's just going into the lot's value here. So yeah, you can build anything you want on an empty lot that way. Or you can go to um, any lot with a house on it. Um, once this loads up here, you'll see what I mean. Oh, this is taking longer than usual. That's good. Alrighty. So here um, you can edit any of these houses the same way. And even if a sim lives in a house, so like here with the pancakes, for example, there's a household living here. But if I go to build on this lot, um, you'll see that it still is in free build mode, which I think is something they changed because it didn't used to be that way, I believe. So, but yeah, if I place like a tree here, it doesn't cost anything. It may be taking this out of the household's funds that live here. It might not be showing it. I'm not entirely sure how that affects the household that lives here, but it is technically free build mode, free build mode as it says there. So you can come into these houses and edit them. And if you want to, you can also evict the Sims living there as well. So you can be free of them completely and that's not difficult either. There's just like these three dots here and you can just evict them. And of course you can also edit any um, community lots here. So like the museum, if I go in to build on that, again you'll be in free build mode and you'll be able to make any edits to this lot that you might wish to. So once this loads up, here you go. So you can see here, um, again, you're in free build mode as well. So pretty easy to just come in here and make the changes that you want. Now, even though uh, it shows that you're in free build mode when you're editing uh, houses where sims live, this won't work for your active household. So if you click on your active household and go to build on that lot, it'll still charge um, any alterations you make to your household's funds. So here's a nice chair that just happens to be there. And if I place this down there, it goes $400. So you can't get around the amount that your sims have. And if you build any lot in free build mode in the world, your sims will still need that amount of money to purchase the lot. Uh, I mean, of course, you can get around this with cheats like Motherload, but you can't just use this method to get your sims to have a nicer house without paying for it. But this does allow you to come into any lot in the world, you know, ideally unoccupied, and make whatever changes you want to the uh, existing house or build a new house and share it on the gallery, whatever. And it's not very difficult to do. You just have to come into Manage Worlds. So, yeah. And to get back to your active household, you're just going to click on it and click the giant play button. So there you go. That's how you can go into free build mode in The Sims 4 and kind of do whatever you want with the world. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful, and I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone, have a great day.